Welcome to the Quest On Demand Backup and Recovery Demonstration. In this video, we are going to show how to restore a permanently deleted user object. First, we are going to start off in the Office 365 Admin Center and find our user to delete. We are going to use the On Demand Training user that I created earlier. First, let's go into the user's contact information to show you all the custom attributes. Now I'm going to delete the user and just confirm to delete it. Now within PowerShell, I'm connected to my Office 365 tenant and I'm first going to show that the on-demand user is in the recycling bin. As you can see, there's the on-demand user. Now I'm going to delete the user out of the Office 365 recycling bin to show that we can restore a user that was permanently deleted. So I'm going to run that commandlet to do so. I'm going to run the git commandlet to look for the user again in the recycling bin. And after I run it, as you can see, nothing appeared. So the user is gone from the recycling bin. Back on the on-demand portal homepage, I'm going to click the go button under Azure AD Backup and Recovery. As you can see, I have already unpacked a recent backup. From here, I'm going to select the show all link under the objects widget. I'm going to search for the on-demand training user. Now that I've found it, I'm going to check the box beside the on-demand training and then select the restore link. Here we have four options. We're going to use three of the options. The restore deleted users from recycle bin. Then if the user is not found in the recycle bin, create a new one. This option recreates permanently deleted users and their group membership. This option is disabled if the restore deleted users from recycle bin option is not selected which is why I selected the first option, knowing that the user was not in the recycle bin. And lastly, restore all attributes. This option lets you restore all attributes of Azure Active Directory objects and is necessary as when you create a new object, a new SID is created, and all other attributes will be default. So this option writes the correct attributes over the newly created ones. Now you click Save to begin the restore. At the top, you can see a green box that says adding what object for restore. And if you click on the view details button, it brings you to the task screen, or you can just click on the task link. Here you can see the progress of the restore operation, and you can see if it's completed or failed. Now that the restore is completed, I'm going to go back to the Office 365 Admin Center. I'm going to search for the on-demand user. Select the user. Then over on the right hand side, you can see that the phone number is back. And if we edit, you can also see that all the other custom attributes are back. One important thing to note is that you'll have to reset the user's password. And if the user had any special permissions, these will need to be re-added. There is currently an open enhancement to restore users' passwords and permissions, which will be added in a future build. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video demonstration. To learn more about Quest On Demand, visit support.quest.com.